Disney Bambi. Nighttime is for exploring. Bambi, oh Bambi. Bambi slowly opened an eye. Thumper, he whispered. Why aren't you asleep? Asleep? Come on, cried Thumper. Sleep is for the birds. <laughs> How can you sleep when there's so much to see and do at night? But everybody knows that nighttime is for sleeping, Bambi said. Oh, brother, Thumper said. Do you have a lot to learn? Follow me. Bambi and Flower and I will show you how the night is a whole new day. <laughs> At the prospect of a new adventure, Bambi's sleepiness disappeared. He stood up quietly and let his friends lead the way. Thumper was right. The forest was as busy at night as it was during the day, but with a whole new group of animals. Owls, raccoon, and badgers, all those animals that Bambi thought spent most of their lives asleep were now as lively as could be. Well, what's that? Bambi exclaimed as a dot of light landed on his nose. Don't worry, Bambi. It's just a firefly, Flower said with a giggle. Firefly, Bambi said. Suddenly, the little light disappeared. Hey, where'd it go? The little deer asked. There it is, cried Thumper. Happily, the three friends chased the fireflies. It flitted behind the tree and all around the forest, but their game was soon interrupted by a flurry of sound. Thousands of leathery wings were suddenly beating overhead. Duck, Bambi, hollered Thumper, just as the whole group of flying animals swooped around their heads. Boy, that was close, said Flower. Were those fireflies too? Bambi asked. Nah, Thumper laughed. <laughs> they didn't light up. Those were bats. Bats, repeated Bambi. They're really busy at night. You can say that again, agreed Thumper, trying to stiff a little yawn. And since yawns are contagious, Bambi's own yawn was not far behind. This was fun, Bambi told his friend. But what do you say we go home and go to bed? <laughs> but there was no answer. Thumper and Flower were already fast asleep. The end.